Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 13 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. It's a nice problem. It involves prime factorization and algebraic expressions. I'll start by reading over number 13 and then we'll work through some of these math concepts. First, let's uh, read it over. It says here, when the number 3600 is written in the form x to the a power times y to the b power times z to the c power, where x, y, and z are prime numbers, what is the value of a plus b plus c? Now you'll notice in this problem, while it does talk about numbers, and this is number sense here, and it does mention we're dealing with 3600 as our primary number, it doesn't mention anything about prime factorization. But prime factorization is going to be the key skill that helps us match up 3,600 with its prime factorization form, which is written as an algebraic expression. Let's start by finding the prime factorization of 3,600. 3,600 is a relatively large number. What we're going to try and do is boil it down into its prime factors. So what we have to do is we have to take this number and chip away at it into smaller num values that multiply to get to it until we get to the final prime numbers. For example, 3,600, we could break it up into two factors like 36 times 100. And then we could take the 36 and we could break that down into two factors like 6 times 6 times and the 100, 10 times 10. And then we do one more time, and this actually boils down, this actually helps us get to the we do it one more time and we start to identify the prime factors in, that make up 3,600. For example, 6 here is made up of 2 times 3, another 2 times 3 here. 10 is made up of 2 times 5, another 2 times 5 here. Now you notice that all these values, if you multiply them out, they would equal 3,600. In fact, each one of these rows, the first row of 36 times 100, the second row, and the third row, they all multiply out to get to 3,600. What makes this last row special, though, is that these are the prime factors that, are that multiplied out together are equivalent to 3,600. When writing out a number in prime factorization form, we always start with the smallest prime number. So here, the smallest prime number is 2, and I've got 1 two, three, four, two. So I'm going to put down the first one as two to the fourth power. Then we go to the next smallest prime number, three, and we got one, two threes. And finally, the five. We have one, two fives. So I do five to the second. So we've successfully done the first part, find the prime factorization of 3,600. Now we have to do the second part, match up this algebraic expression with our answer. So let me rewrite this algebraic expression, x to the a, y to the b, z to the c. Now I'm hoping you see that x, y, and z match up with the distinct prime numbers 2, 3, and 5. And that means that a, b, and c, the exponents, match up with 4, 2, and 2. And in this problem here, we're asked to add the exponents of this expression. We're going to be at, they, since they line up with the exponents in these numbers here, we're going to add these values up. 4 plus 2 plus 2, which is what it's asking us to do, 4 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. Answer C. This is a really cool problem, team. You really need to be able to do prime factorization of a big number, and then you need to be able to match up your answer with an algebraic expression. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, team. Take care. Hi, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops 
math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.